Come on in, come on in. Hey everybody, this is Jay Todd coming to you from the streets of Las Vegas with my best friend Mike. And here's what's happening this week in gambling. I'm gambling. I'm gambling. Are you? I'm losing my ass, but I'm gambling. <laughs> Hello my friends, I'm Jay Todd and welcome to This Week in Gambling, the show responsible for the removal of the Berlin Wall. And here's this week's big story. Big Fish Games is being sued in Washington State over their play for free casino games. And some of you out there may be wondering why should we care about play for free casino games? I mean, this is a gambling show, right? Well, the truth is this lawsuit could affect more than companies like Big Fish and Zynga. In fact, it's already forced changes to Facebook and Poker Stars, and the implications are it could affect every software provider and every gaming manufacturer in the industry. The suit claims that Big Fish used illegal gambling practices by selling chips on their site, chips used to play their free games. But Washington state law does not actually define what illegal gambling practices are. It does, however, talk about illegal gambling, which is basically any gambling that goes on in the state which the state doesn't make a profit from. I mean, which the state hasn't specifically licensed. Yeah. So the question becomes, does selling chips change free games into gambling? Now, laws change from state to state, but in general, you need three elements to have gambling. Number one, consideration. That is money or something of value put up as part of the wager. Number two, you need chance, which is kind of vague when you consider that just about everything we do in life has some element of chance to it. And then you need a payoff, you know, like winning something. If you remove any one of those elements, you don't have gambling. So Big Fish gives away some chips and sells some chips. The chips that they sell are no longer free, so they do have some value to them. That could work against them in this case. But players cannot win anything other than more free chips, so there really is no prize or payoff, so that works for them in this case. Now I hear some of you saying, hey, J. Todd, you just said some of the chips have value. So if they win some chips and those chips have some value, doesn't that constitute a prize? To which I say, yeah, I've wondered about that myself. But players cannot cash these chips out. They can't sell them back to the site and put money in their pocket. They can't take 10 million free chips down to a dealership and buy a new car. Hell, they can't even cash out chips for a free meal at McDonald's. So do these chips really have any value, really, to the player? Please explain it to me. How can we have illegal gambling practices when there is no illegal gambling going on and the state hasn't even defined what illegal gambling practices are? Beats the hell out of me! But I guess this is why we have court hearings and trials and such to answer these sorts of questions and so that the state can figure out how to squeeze some money out of it. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by Online Casino City, your guide to excitement with over 3,000 independent online casino reviews. Visit online.casinocity.com. Welcome back. This week, reports are coming in that billionaire casino mogul Sheldon Adelson is battling cancer. 
Now, Mr. Adelson has been a pain in our ass over the past decade, opposing online gambling at every opportunity. And now, the 85-year-old is in failing health. I'll let you guys think whatever you want to about this story. Our game review this week is for the Strolling Stacks Cubic Fruits, a five reel, three row, 10 line slot from Net Entertainment. It comes with wild substitutions, respins, a bonus bet, and colossal symbols. You can find this review when you visit our YouTube channel, and while you're there, please be sure to support this show by subscribing and click that bell at the top of the page to get updates every time we release a new video. Ebony and ivory live together. You know the song, Mike. Come on. Perfect well, you got harmony. Right. Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. Are you serious? Yeah. I am such an idiot. Serving gamblers since 1847.